Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the objectives of project management. What exactly do we need to do when we are talking about project management? What should be our goals? How should we set our goals? And what our basic objectives should be? So let's get into more detail. So project management basically involves application of knowledge, skills, tools and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements, right? So there are different objectives of project management. First of them is scope. Scope means till what extent do you have to do the work? What exactly needs to be done? Like if I want to lay railway lines, I'll have to know from where till where till I have to conduct the survey, what amount of excavation is required, then what amount of rail lines will be required to put, right? I cannot just write in the contracts that you have to put railway lines from here to here. You have to be very specific in defining the scope. It has to be mentioned in the contract document between the client and the contractor so that the conflicts can be avoided later on. Then there is performance. A project is always expected to have a well-defined performance level. There are various ways by which you can measure the performance. It can be cost-wise, time-wise. You can have a schedule and then track the project if it is going according to the schedule. So that is one of the ways you can test if the performance is good or not. Then there is time. In a lot of projects, time is of the essence, right? Suppose I want to build and a stadium for Olympic Games, right? If a contractor agrees to make it. And if the contractor makes it in five years and the Olympic Games are already done, the stadium would be of no use to me. So that is why time is very important and often in most projects, time is of the essence. Cost. Again, the most important thing in the Indian context, people worry a lot about the cost that goes into the project, not just the initial cost, but the uh, quality, the scope, the materials used, the time employed, the resources employed. Cost is very important in project management. So while setting goals, we must always make sure that the goals are smart. What do I mean by smart? Smart means specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and within a time limit. We should not set absurd, unrealistic goals because then it will be very difficult for us to achieve them. So the goals must always be smart. Now coming on to another topic, it's called program management. Program is nothing but a group of projects. You can define it as a centralized coordinated management of a program to achieve its strategic objectives. That is in program management, interrelated or independent projects are managed under one head to achieve the desired goal. So uh, you may have a company which has multiple projects and you want to monitor them at the same time and achieve the goals right but the only thing with program is the projects that you are putting in a program they have to be similar you cannot put dissimilar projects in a similar program so then comes portfolio portfolio is a group of related or non-related projects or programs note that in program management only related projects were managed whereas in port portfolio related and non-related projects are managed. See, the only difference with between portfolio and program is you can manage different projects within a similar portfolio. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to eKeda and stay tuned to eKeda.